Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by Spirit of Me 1111. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here to do your forecast love and career reading for the sign of Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is a water sign so this may also resonate with the Cancer or Pisces as well. And um, you are welcome to reverse the genders here for the tarot. Okay, the tarot is timeless so these can be events that have happened in your past um, that are currently taking place in the present or that will happen for you in the near future years. Right, everyone? Um, if you need a personal private reading, all the information will be down below. Please contact me in the description box. Um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And also, the bell notification if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload some content to my channel. Alright, so... Again, May 2019, sign of Scorpio Spirit, if you will. If you some cards for the sign of Scorpio for May 2019. What message the Spirit have for Scorpio? Alright, without further ado, guys, let's get into your reading. Try to keep my intro short this morning so I can get through you guys' readings and get going. Starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, that's really, really good energy. Ten of Pentacles is about like um, being well off, financially stable, set and situated, um, grounded and rooted right now in your life. You're in a really, really good place. That's really good energy. Um, someone could be coming into money, like an inheritance. This could even come into play when someone's like won the lottery. It could be a small fortune. It doesn't have to be like the power bucks, mega millions or anything like that. You're just in a really, really good place right now. Um, stability in your life that could be uh, with your family life as well. Um, great health, great things to come. Someone could, um, like I said, be getting money or an inheritance. Some money can be getting passed down from elders or someone in your family. That's about completion. It's about coming to an end and things being complete. So someone has reached a point in their life that you just feel like um, you're where you want to be at, where you should be at financially. So the Ten of Pentacles shows up to tell you that you saved your money. You got to where you need to be in life. Now it's time to share some of that. Go out and live your best life. Okay, you can't take it with you. So that money that you've been saving, you've been holding on to for a rainy day. It's a rainy day. Go to the park, schedule a trip with your family, with your friends, and just go out and hang out. For the rest of you, this could be like, what do you need to do to become in alignment with that Ten of Pentacles type of energy in your life? What do you need to do to be this successful, to just be um, made and laid back and like feel stress-free, like you don't want to have to worry about anything? Um, this energy shows up with someone who has attained a level of uh, financial freedom in their life and you probably really don't have to work as hard as the next person <laughs> so much to say so that's what's up scorpio knight of swords that's air energy gemini libra and aquarius and the knight of swords is coming in i'm very quick and swift um he's very impulsive this energy comes in and this guy is going to um come in and cut something or someone off so scorpio you're dealing with most likely your person um is an air sign and it's coming in with that knight of swords type of energy this could be you with your knight of swords type of energy you could just be embodying this energy that you're making quick um swift decisions you're impulsive and you're abruptly going to be cutting someone or something off or you've already done this in your life ten of wands another ten completion feeling like you're burdened down you know feeling like you're you're ready to give up but you're at the point where it's like you just have to get rid of things that no longer serve you in your life so that you can have that energy and that space in your life clear that you need to move forward. Two tens here. Two tens. One about being abundant and complete and fruitful. And the others, like, you got too much on your plate. You got too much on your plate. It's kind of amazing that that Knight of Swords shows up right before that ten of wands. So you definitely know you got to cut something out your life that's no longer serving you. Um, moving on from the ten of wands, we have... The hermit here this is the virgo card the hermit is about isolation um seclusion meditation going within doing your inner work right now 
okay? Um, working on yourself, mind, and body and soul. Working on your spirituality. This card comes into play here when you just need to go and be alone. You need to pull yourself back right now. Be that from society. If this is um, a job or something that you're walking away from, that you need to walk away from, you need to take a break from and go within to find yourself and what's not serving you so that you can align and reach that Ten of Pentacles type of energy. Because this is the base of your reading. This is the base of it. Um, someone really, really lacks that financial freedom they seek in their life and, and need to get to it because of that you have to cut something or someone off, uh, rid up some of that um, excess energy you have in your life. You're burning down, got too much, you know, going on, like breaking yourself down. And, and in order to align with that Ten of Pentacles type of energy, you got to cut something off. That Knight of Swords is very, very uh, bold and blunt and strict about it cutting some things off for some of you you do have this energy already in your life you already have those pentacles you are already abundant and something or someone can just really really be draining you really really draining you put a lot on your plate you're taking the responsibility of others um, financially and it's burning you down so you need to take that knight of swords type of stance and energy and cut some things off and out of your life um all this is going to happen when you take the time you need from the person um or the place be it a job, be it a family, be it friends, be it kids, whoever is burning you down, you need to just know that you need to go within. This is time for you to be alone and do you right now, to think about yourself, to work on yourself, to come out of that energy and uh, serves, do what serves you for your greater good, for your higher good, Scorpio. Six of Cups here, that's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the Six of Cups is like reconciliation. This is about having fond memories from the past. Someone from your past could be coming back into your life here, okay? Once you rid up some of that energy and you go within and uh, someone may see that you have some things going on in your life. For some of you that have come into that Ten of Pentacles type of energy, you have someone from your past that's coming back, um, that's missing you, that's wanting to come and offer a cup of reconciliation here that wants to fix things that uh, didn't serve you guys too well in the past. This could be a person that you've cut off in the past. This could be a person that you've cut off, Scorpio, that wasn't serving you, that burdened you down. So once you went inside and did the work, you could have very well cut this person off and then they're missing you. They're wanting to come back and reconcile with you. And uh, that energy is here. We have the moon. This is Pisces, all right? The moon is Pisces. So this Pisces card is about epiphanies. Again, this is your intuition. This is about your inner knowing. So that definitely going within is going to serve you well. Um, they have two major arcanas that are directly telling you to go within, to work on yourself, to meditate. The moon here is about um, things not being as they seem, but you're going to get a clear picture of a situation at hand once you go within and do your inner work. <laughs> do your inner work like the hermit and go within and find out what's really going on. Listen to yourself and your inner voice. Um, that Ten of Pentacles here, that's Virgo towards Capricorn energy. So you definitely have the Virgo showing up twice. So for some of you, Scorpio, your person you're dealing with could very well be a Virgo. You have the Virgo singled out alone and then you have that Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So for some of you, you're dealing with a Virgo, um, a Virgo or an Earth sign that's gonna be coming back from your past that you've cut off in the past because of the drama and the stress and they were burdening you down. So that's what's up. Use your intuition, go within, Make sure you're thinking about the situation. Um, your outer exterior may appear to be really, really hard right now, but inside um, you're soft and you have a lot of emotions that you're keeping bottled up. So that could be really what's burdening you down when it comes to that Ten of Wands type of energy. This could be energetically. It doesn't have to be anything outside of yourself. So keep that in mind. Scorpio, when dealing with your person from the past, that's going to be coming back. This could be you having those memories and thoughts. Maybe you've went inside, you've done the work. Probably coming to a place in your life where you've come into some money or you're really abundant in your life right now. You're where you want to be financially and the life is not serving you right now. With the moon card, things are not as they seem. Maybe you just appear happy and seem happy, but you cut someone off that, um, for some of you, I'm getting... And you have cut someone off and you're missing this person. You're wanting them back in your life and you want to share some of these pentacles and some of this abundance with your person. So, um, yeah. Whoever 
and resonates with. <laughs> Guys, my information is down below. How to get in contact with me down there. Get your extended or your personal private reading. Definitely available for that. And I love working with you guys. So, without further ado, let me get clarifying you for my lovely, lovely Scorpios. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Enjoy your Friday. Maybe we have the chariots. So, we have the chariot is Cancerian energy. So, that's more water energy. That's more water. The chariot is about moving forward, coming forward. And the fact that you have the chariot here with the Six of Cups definitely have someone from the past coming back. So this chariot is about taking control. It's about ba the balance of the masculine and the feminine energy. Okay, the masculine and the feminine. Balancing those energies out, taking control, and fearlessly moving forward, coming after your goal, your person that you want. Okay, you could probably went inside at one point where you were weak, and you weren't able to cut someone off. Maybe your, your clarifiers is telling me for some of you, for some of you, I'm getting that once you go inside and do the inner work, as in the past where you may not have been strong enough, where you may have felt like it was just too much, there was just too much going on, and you may have lacked the strength that you needed to move forward. Okay, you may have lacked that. So you're showing up now at this phase and this point in your life. Something's happened. Something's taken place. And you went inside with that moon um, type of energy. You went inside. You've had an epiphany. And you've come out of it ready to go, ready to move forward and pursue something or someone from your past. There's someone from your past, Scorpio, that you want back in your life right now. And um, you're going for it. You want this person. Four of Pentacles. So, um... Don't be afraid to let go. Don't try to hold on too tight and control the outcome of this situation. Don't be afraid to let go and cut things off that you need to let go of and cut off with that Knight of Swords. Hold it on too tight to something. If you have held on to something too tight of fear of letting it go, Spirit is here clarifying and telling you it's time to let go. For some of you, it's time to let go that Knight of Swords type of energy. It's time to let go of something that no longer serves you. Ten of Wands, weighing you down, burdened. It's time to let it go. <laughs> the moon clarifier, the moon. I'm trying to tell you the last clarifier, Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, wow. Pisces again. Somebody is dealing with their Pisces. Definitely more, you know, um, the moon clarifier, the moon. Powerful epiphanies going within. You've had a moment of clarity. You've had a epiphany here about your situation or your person moving forward and um the knight of cups you end with the knight of cups more water energy cancer scorpio pisces someone wants to come in and make a love offer to you okay you have that knight here um with the chariot you have your person wanting to come forward and make a love offer this could be you going like i said someone from the past to whoever you're dealing with pisces this is someone from your past you know this person already it's someone from your past that you may have had a fallen out with you held on too tight and because of it you may have lost your person you may very well have lost your person maybe they cut you off and they're wanting you. This could be them wanting you, wanting to come back into your life because they miss you. Went inside, did the work, been out there, lived life, and realized that that's not what they want. What's out there is not what your person wants. They want you. Vice versa, this could be your energy, wanting your person from the past. But you've done a lot of thinking about it. A lot of thinking. You've done your inner work. Your intuition is on popping when it comes to your situation. You just feel like you need your person. You want your person. Okay, this person is giving you that type of has at some point given you that type of love in your life to make you feel like you can have all that you want, all that you desire with your person. You can have that. Your goal here or your person's goal is to bring this union into fruition. Things that didn't serve you in the past, you know, can be coming back. This could be things coming back into your life um, because just now is the time. Maybe in the past it wasn't time your situation to work out but now could be the time for you and your person you definitely have someone coming with a love offer cherry and knight of cups that's what's up let me know down below guys i try to use as many scenarios i had so many messages coming into me about this pretty awesome pretty awesome i really like it come on man so that's what's up pisces 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 dude. Scorpio, you guys, my mom was, Scorpio, God rest her soul. Scorpios are pretty awesome. 
you guys are not the ones to burn or to um, get on your bad side because Scorpios are very vengeful and vindictive from what I'm finding out while learning about these signs and so on and so forth. So it's pretty interesting when your reading comes up the way it has. I can definitely see Scorpio cutting someone off. They didn't serve them in the past because that's what Scorpios does. <laughs> all right, all right, Spirit of you, please give me some Romance Angels cards for the lovely sign of Scorpio for me. 2019. All right. I think I'm going to take two guys. Scorpio. Okay. So we have finances and career. Yep. Like I said, that Ten of Pentacles here. That's about money. That's finances. For some of you, um, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, yep. You probably have to cut someone off that was draining you or that you felt like um, was draining you with that Ten of Wands type of energy, um, holding on too tight. Um, there was money problems holding on too tight. That Four of Pentacles on the other end of that spectrum is about, you know, um, holding on too tight um, to your money, to your coins and fear of losing it and fear that you don't have enough, like you're in lack. If you're feeling that you have a lack mindset or you're in lack, um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and passion. Um, this is the other card, and it's about Knight of, the, the Knight of Cups. When your person comes with you, know that you deserve love. Don't feel that if you don't have enough or if you think you don't have enough because your situation right now is not you. It doesn't determine what's possible for you. It doesn't determine your happily ever after. Your situation is just what it is right now or has been in the past, and for some of you, it's already improved and got better. For some of you, it's getting better. It'll get greater later. So that's what's up. <laughs> One more card for you guys from the Universe Has My Back deck. And I'll get you guys on your way here. Thanks again. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons for me, guys. I always love jumping on here and showing you guys readings for you. Always amazing to work with you guys. Water signs rock. All about emotions, guys. You guys are very emotional. Very caring and nurturing. All right, so the universe has your back, Scorpio. Let's see. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. See, there you go. Let it go. You ain't got to pray for an outcome. Don't try to control the outcome with your situation. Just know that you're worthy of love. Um, allow for passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and just do you right now. And the rest is on its way. Thanks you all for stopping by. It's such a privilege to be able to work with you guys and do these tarot readings for you all. And I really appreciate the comments and responses I get from you all. Um, have a great, safe weekend, everyone. And namaste.